second series of frightening attacks by orcas, better known as killer whales, on boats off the coast of Spain and Portugal has both sailors and scientists baffled. Here's part of a report by NBC's Josh Letterman on the mysterious rise of these incidents. It's part of a wave of orca attacks, at least three boats sinking in recent weeks. Researchers saying orca encounters in the area have been increasing since 2020. More than 20 interactions recorded just this month. Last year, 207, including this one in the Strait of Gibraltar, an orca seen chewing on a piece of the boat. Now marine researchers are asking why. We're going to ask that question right now. Joining me is wildlife conservationist and documentarian and a good friend of ours, Jeff Corwin. Uh, Jeff, here's the good news. Uh, no serious injuries to report so far, unless, of course, you include the boats. But does this behavior described in the NBC News piece surprise you? Is there any suggestion these attacks may be coordinated between pods of workers? Well, good afternoon to you, my dear friend, Alex, and, uh, and greetings from beautiful Belize Zoo in Central America. We're here nice. launching an amazing conservation exhibit, but let's get to the coast of Spain. So what is this curious and potentially treacherous behavior? Alex, as we know, orcas are cetaceans, whales, incredibly intelligent creatures. They learn from their environment. So this is a learned, discovered behavior likely the result of a traumatic event. We think that this dominant female lead of this pod, this orca named White Gladys, had a catastrophic traumatic event with the ship. We know that a number of these sailboats actually hit these whales. So we think she was hit, she learned from that behavior, she is associating these boats as danger, and she's teaching this behavior to other members of the pod. Huh. That is absolutely stunning. I'm teaching it because, you know, hoping that they will avoid this kind of accident injury again. Let me move to because some pretty... Smart. Yeah, well, yeah, they are very smart. Let me play some incredible video. You're familiar with it. You shared it with us. This is of North Atlantic right whales. They're off the New England coast, apparently on the verge of extinction, Jeff. I mean, you can see one of them here that's caught in fishing nets. I mean, look at that. So many of these whales are, are out of existence now. They've been caught. How many are there? What's endangering them? I mean, I'm guessing a lot of the threat's human-caused, right, whether it's global warming or run-ins with fishermen and boats. What, what's this about? What's happening? Well, Alex, this is the big million dollar serious conundrum that no one is talking about enough. According to IFA, which is the International Fund for Animal Welfare, they have the state of the art research boat called the Song of the Whale that's riding up our coast right now. They've got a research station and a marine um, rescue center right off the tip of the Cape. Them with their partners like uh, NOAA have discovered that this species has now collapsed. It is in the verge of extinction. No. Alex, only 340 survive, and uh, they produced only 11 offspring this year that are surviving. That can't allow this species to carry it in the future. Why? What's happening? Alex, they're migrating up from their winter waters off the coast of Florida. They're coming up. They're getting hit by container ships. Mm. Alex, just yesterday, two whales washed up. I think along the coast of New York, two adult humpbacks oh. with catastrophic compression injuries from a ship. They're getting entangled in ghost nets and fishing gear. We're seeing that footage right here. And the cherry on this extinction Sunday, Alex, as they get to Maine. Maine is the fastest warming body on the fastest warming body of water on the planet from climate change. So they have to work twice as hard to get half as much. So they don't get the reward when they migrate up to feed. So all of this together makes this right whale extinction storm and we're not doing enough about it. And within our lives, yeah. if something doesn't change right now, we're gonna lose this species.